What's up, beauties? Welcome back to my channel. So, now that we're done being extra, today we are going to be doing a beauty tag. Uh, we have 30 questions, so this is awesome. Let's see, let's see. Question number one, do you remember your first makeup item, eyeliner? Eyeliner was the only thing that I was allowed to wear in middle school. Even through high school, my mom didn't buy me makeup. I didn't start wearing makeup until homecoming, senior year. Senior year homecoming was my first time having like, it wasn't even a full face, so let me not lie to you. I had my first full face for prom. Homecoming, I think I just had like foundation, blush, mascara, eyeliner. I wanna say that was it. I don't, I don't have any pictures, so I can't show you guys that. But prom is what started it. Um, number two, describe your perfect mascara. Have you found one that fits your specifications? My favorite one is their Real by Benefit Cosmetics. And then the one that I'm using now is one from Tarte. It's like purple with like leopard print on it, I think. But that's what's on my lashes right now. Question number three. What kind of coverage do you prefer from foundation? Um, More natural now. Before, I used to just want to be beat. Like I wanted to be a beat bitch. Like beat me. But now, this is all I do. That's it. Favorite high-end brands. I really love Fenty. Fenty has never disappointed me. I bet you didn't even know I was wearing makeup. I bet you didn't. Besides eyeliner. That's about it. But under my eyes is where my concealer is and my um, powder. Concealer and powder. I've been going memory dead. Like memory dead for real because I definitely don't know. Sometimes I get to the point to where I just don't know what I'm talking about in the middle of me talking about it and I forget what I'm talking about. But anyway, um, yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but I had on concealer under my eyes. Well, I have on concealer under my eyes. And I see it. That's it. So Fenty Beauty for sure is my favorite product because it has yet to disappoint me. Uh, number five, what cosmetic brands have you always wanted to try but still haven't? Um, Jeffree Star, but I can't give him my money. So if somebody wants to like gift it to me, which nobody I know because I only know a bunch of black people and they're not about to spend their money on that, especially for someone who's racist, but I would love to try his products. It's just, I don't want me or anybody who I know to spend their money on it. Now, if you Caucasian, and you want to buy it for me and we're like friends or whatever, I will take it, I will accept it and I will use it and I will do a review on it. But that's the only brand that I can think of because his colors and his palette and everything is just always just so beautiful and it's, just, it's so pigmented and I just wanna smear it all over my face, but I can't. Question number six, favorite drugstore brands? Uh, okay, I guess I could say Elf. NYX, NYX. Question number seven. Do you wear fake eyelashes? Depends on the situation, but not usually. Uh, when I first started wearing makeup, yes. Now, definitely not. Question number eight. Is there any kind of makeup you can't leave the house without? No. If I'm like running to the store, no, nah, I can walk outside with a bare face. I'm not ashamed of my face. It looks exactly like this without eyebrows or eyeliner or mascara. Question number nine, what is your most cherished beauty product? Probably my Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills 
uh, dip brow pomade. Your girl gotta have her brows wherever she goes, except for when I'm running down the street. <laughs> Number 10, how often do you shop for makeup? Do you like to pick up an item here and there or get lots of goodies at once? I am an online shopper. I would say mm, like every other day. If not every day, I look at makeup. But I don't actually buy anything though. I don't buy anything. Sometimes I don't. Number 11. Do you have a beauty budget or you spend freely? What's the price tag? What is the price tag? Which you would think I should know about because I'm poor. <sighs> Question number 12. Do you utilize coupons, reward cards, and sales when you shop for cosmetics? Yes. Because with Ulta, I have a, 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 a rewards account. With Ulta, I also have one with Sephora. Number 13, what type of products do you buy the most of? Eyeshadows, hands down eyeshadows. And I don't know why. Well, I know why because you can never have enough eyeshadows. Of course, you're gonna have similar colors, but it's all about pigmentation. I love pigmentation, I love packaging, um, all of that. If it looks pretty, it's coming home with me. I promise you it's coming home with me, whether I'm buying it or somebody is buying it for me. Question number 14, is there a brand that you absolutely can't stand? What's something that I don't like? Mm, I don't know, because I don't really venture out a lot to try a bunch of different products not really my thing but if I do end up finding one that I don't like I will make sure to make a review about it so you guys know what it is about this product or this line that I don't like and what I do like if I do have anything about it that I do like number 15 do you do you avoid certain ingredients and in cosmetics like paraben and sulfates of course those are bad for you why would I want that on my face why would I want that on a client's face I'm trying to move toward vegan uh, products just because it'll make me feel better knowing that it's one cruelty free and it's uh it's vegan I mean what else can you say um doo -doo -doo -doo, number 16 do you have a favorite place to shop for makeup Ulta Sephora 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 and more Sephora and Ulta. I love those places. Now for like brushes, you're not about to catch me spending $65 on one brush when I can go to like CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Target, any place that has a beauty section to get the same brushes. Of course, quality, whatever, quality over quantity, whatever, what the F ever. I would rather spend a dollar to like three dollars on a brush that'll do me the same thing it's doing you but that's just me i am cheap i'm not afraid to admit it number 17 do you like trying new skincare products or do you keep a certain routine skincare products i'd love to try a bunch of different stuff because my skin is like it's normal to dry but or it was more on the drier side let's just say that in like certain areas of my face i have like dry patches where i actually have to put like aquaphor on them because it's it gets so like crusty even like exfoliating people when i was in makeup school she was like you need to exfoliate bitch i exfoliated last night i just have very dry skin that's it it's very dry and so like I have like a pimple right here that was like a dry patch only for the longest it was literally just a dry patch and I woke up this morning and it was like an actual pimple I don't know if you guys can see it but it's like right here and then like uh, the creases of my nose right here is where it also gets very very dry I have to put aquaphor there and then sometimes in this area like around the nostril is where I also have to put aquaphor <sighs> complicated man 
It's complicated trying to live a, a nice moisturized life. And it took me a very long time to find a moisturizer. Oh my gosh, you guys, this Cetaphil moisturizer that I've been using, fantastic. Go get you some. Question, I think I'm only gonna do 20 out of these 30 questions, so here we go. Question number 18, favorite bath and body brand? Favorite bath and body brand? I have a whole drawer of Bath and Body Works perfumes. I have a basket full of Bath and Body Works soaps and lotions. There are too many of them to just name my favorite brand because they're all amazing. So I'm going to say the whole gosh darn store. Yeah, I am. Question 19. If you could only buy from one brand, which brand would you choose? Is this referring back to the Bath and Body thing? If so, which brand would you choose? I don't know. I'm gonna skip this one. I'm skipping that one. 18. No, I'm past that. Da, 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 da. If you could, if you could only buy from one brand, which brand would you choose? Step in your case. Okay, so it's not just referring to bath and body products. Okay. And what brand do you think has best packaging? Mm, I think Fenty's uh, packaging is very, very, very pretty. It's an old lady outside, she's looking at me. Hey lady. Um, I think Fenty has very pretty packaging, Jeffree's Dar has very pretty packaging. Uh, Huda, Huda has very pretty packaging. Ah, that's a brand that I've wanted to try. I have like her mini obsessions, um, or those little mini things, they're her obsession palettes, and those are like bomb.effing.com. And then one of my uh, classmates, or old classmates I should say, she, um, she had one of uh, her full palettes, and I used that for a bridal extravaganza for a fashion show for a client, and that was the bomb. I should insert a picture of my client right here. It's coming. Um, I think that was it. Yep, that's our last question. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hate answering questions because I definitely don't know anything ever. So that's amazing, right? It, it's just wonderful. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it. So give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Comment down below um, on what type of beauty videos you wanna see, whether it be like hair, makeup, skin related. Let me know. I can take you guys with me one day to go get my nails done, you know? Get our feet done, like. Bree, Bree's world. Let me not call it Bree's world because it's not Breeze World. It could be Breeze World. I don't know. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.